This is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. Yeah, that's right. The mobile variant of the GTX 950 for a desktop computer. The GTX 950M is a GPU designed for laptops. It has 640 CUDA cores with a frequency of 900 MHz and a GDDR5 memory. This graphics card doesn't require any PCIe power connectors in order to work. It gets all of its power from the PCIe slot. This is my friend's graphics card. We got it from a local store here in Italy. He had a budget of around 650 euros for a pre-built computer. It was around 2016 when we decided to buy a pre-built because we didn't have any experience on building one of our own back then. So we went to this store and saw this pre-built. It seems like a great deal. It had an i5-6400 CPU, 8GB of DDR4 2133MHz RAM, and 1TB of hard drive. And at the last, the GTX 950. Notice, I didn't say GTX 950M because it wasn't even written on the store. So, we bought it, and we came home and all excited, we found out it was a GTX 950M. The GTX 950M is like 30-40% to 40 slower than the desktop equivalent. The computer which the GTX 950M was tested on is the pre-built we bought. So, for the CPU, it has an Intel Core i5-6400, which is a quad-core without hyper threading, with a frequency of 2.7 to 3.3 GHz. 8GB of DDR4 2133MHz and instead of the original hard disk, I installed an SSD with 480GB of capacity and it's all being powered by 80 plus bronze 300W power supply running on Windows 10 operating system. The games I am testing are CSGO, Overwatch and Fortnite. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the terrible FPS on the gameplay. The experience in CSGO is pretty playable. With the settings pretty much set to medium, I was able to achieve an average of around 62 FPS. You can lower the settings in order to get higher FPS. This GPU is capable of running CSGO without any problems. That said, I wouldn't recommend this GPU for people that are trying to climb the ranks, because even though the average FPS is 60, it sometimes dips below at around 30. Fortnite is harder to run at 1080p compared to CSGO. I've set the settings to medium and I was able to get an average of around 630fps, but it was stuttery. It's alright for casual players but not for people that take the game seriously. In order to get an average of 60fps, I had to turn the settings down to low and the resolution to 1600x900p. With this, the gameplay was smoother and has less dips. For Overwatch, I'm not gonna be showing the gameplay because the recording frame rate was so bad it might as well be just a slideshow. The experience was decent. The GTX 950M was able to run at 1080p with everything set to low with an average of 43 FPS and 1% loss of 28. Just like Fortnite, with this kind of FPS, it's recommended only for casual players. You can also lower the settings in order to achieve more FPS. Now, Let's take a look on all of the game's results on a graph. Let's start with Overwatch. As you can see, we have an average of 43.3 FPS and a 1% loss of 28.8. It was better if the frame rate reached an average of 60 for a more pleasant experience and also a tighter 1% loss. It's recommended to lower down the settings in order to achieve a better gaming experience, but if you're okay with this kind of FPS, you can go ahead and play at 1080p with this kind of settings. For Fortnite, the experience was barely playable. With an average of 36.9 FPS, it's the 1% loss that kills the gaming experience. There was frequent stuttering. This GPU is more suited on gaming at a lower resolutions, such as 1600x900p. And in the end, for CSGO, the gameplay was alright. Even though the average FPS is 62.8, the 1% loss is only 33.1. Having a high disparity of FPS means the gameplay would often dip below and it's noticeable. To stop that, I recommend lowering the settings a little bit more. The GTX 950M will do a great job for a laptop 
but for desktop it's equivalent to a GTX 750 more or less. It's capable of running eSports title but will struggle a bit with AAA titles. I couldn't find any desktop variant for the GTX 950M for sale here in Italy, but if you find one, I wouldn't pay any more than 40 euros for it. Thanks for watching this video and hope you liked it.